Hi everyone, how are you? Good morning, good evening, good night, whatever. <laughs> so, welcome another day. Today, connecting with the throat chakra. So, remember that we are in the emotional week in the month of Libra. So, just to let you know, from today, from yesterday, but from today, we are in the effect of Mercury retrograde. So for your, it will be difficult for you to understand me, even difficult for myself to understand myself. Communication problems. So if there is something you don't get, if there is something you don't understand, just wait for another 15 days and watch these videos again. <laughs> so uh, just for all the people that doesn't know what is Mercury retrograde, um, we will have that for another 10 to, to 15 days. And this is something that happens around three times a year. And this means that uh, Mercury, the, the planet, um, the one that is closer to the sun, it has a very fast um, fast um, oh, orbit around the sun. Uh, so that means that from the point of view of Earth, sometimes the planet seems like if it moves uh, backwards because it's moving so fast around that sometimes we see it like going this way and suddenly we see it going it in this way so it's just a point of view from our planet that we see that but we call it retrograde because like going backwards okay so so from the point of view of this planet it seems like if the planet of communication which is mercury is trying it is, is um it's not communicating very well because it's not going forward, it's going backwards, so it's like talking backwards. So nobody can't really understand what is happening and sometimes technology communications fails. So this is why this maybe will be kind of weird to try to explain things. So I apologize in advance. <laughs> this is natural, this is not something new, this is something that we have at least three per year, every year of our lives. So this is something common just to know a little bit <laughs> so what we are going to talk about today is about the cognitive and the ignorance so i will start as i started the topic today in the blog which is that i felt like weird that i received these two words for today uh, cognitive and ignorance because i would relate them with the mind i related with the process of the mental aspect of our work but the explanation that i um received was that the first thing that we the first way in which we receive information in our bodies is by uh, by feelings and emotions so this is why we have to understand first how we receive all this data you know in in order to acknowledge it so let's go into this so first of all, the concept of cognition and ignorance, ignorance comes both of them from the same word from ancient times, which is gnosis. Gnosis is the name of um, wisdom, is the name of knowledge. Okay, so this was the name in which uh, people would refer to those who are trying to understand all the things. So the, for sure you have heard about the groups of Gnosis. The Gnosis people, they are students, constant students. They take information from anything, from religions, philosophies, science, um, traditions, uh, whatever you can, different colors. They, they, they would take information from, from many, many uh, places to understand it, to perceive it to assimilate it and always study more about uh, about any issue about any any uh, concepts okay so that would be gnosis for sure you should know the word um well no the knowledge okay the word knowledge also has a similarity with the word co no okay gnosis co no no Okay, this is the sound of this word. So uh, it means 
co it's like um like together to put all together mm -hmm. so to put all together and no no gnosis knows uh comes from the concept of wisdom or knowledge okay all the things that you could um that you could uh, understand so knowing okay knowing would be cognizance also uh would be um the conjunction of things that now i put together okay so i put together all the things that that would be to know the concept of knowing or cognition okay which is to know something so the process that the word of cognitive cognitive would be the ability to put all the different concepts all the different knowledges together okay so it's the ability to know how to to understand something that's cognitive okay so in the other hand what we have is ignorance so ignorance comes from the word in in and nocere which is the same concept like before but this one cannot hold information cannot receive and understand the whole information put in together so this is <coughs> ignorance okay this is what it means if the uh, process of cognitive of cognition would be to take the different concepts and to put them together to give them a logic within me would be so that there is um that the the opposite the ignorance or the incognite okay the incognite would be something that i cannot understand that the parts are there and i cannot understand them also we have another another word that comes from all this that you may have heard which is agnostic okay so agnostic would be someone without gnosis so gnosis means um gnosis means to um to know things other things the conjunction of things how they are connected so this is why throughout the time the gnosis has been trying to find the meaning of the of the connection of all the things so this is why it's more metaphysic okay so the gnosis is known by the metaphysics because it's trying to explain what is beyond physics that's metaphysics means beyond physics so everything that connects physical aspects which is more philosophical but in the other hand the agnostics are those that say there is nothing are those that say that there is nothing metaphysics there is nothing non physics that everything is here and now and everything is physical so there is no connection between the things so this is why the agnostics are those who are without gnosis without the metaphysic concepts of reality one of the things that um that we today think is that the physics is the only way in which you can acknowledge something is that you believe that um the common people believe that to to uh, to hold an information to receive an information you have to read a book to do something specific and all this knowledge will come to your mind by logics okay so this is why we uh, the logics of the mind says everything has to be physic in order to be understandable but in the other hand what we have is that the connection of the things is not by physics is by metaphysics metaphysics is as i said something that goes beyond physics but it doesn't mean that it's something different from physics it means that it's something that moves in a different way than physics so this is why um we should not say that cognitive process is only through the mind because the main uh, way in which the cognitive process works is through metaphysics the way in which we interpret information basically is like this everything around everything that we have around uh, has an impulse in us so we receive the information from the outside through the pulses that we call emotions emotions are the the main information that we receive from the world 
So these pulses of emotions are creating like links of information, of data that we receive from the outside, create what we call feelings, the sensations. So this sensitive aspect of the self creates the, um, the conjunction of data, of pulses, of information that creates a feeling. The feeling is something that we would call metaphysics because the way in which the information is um, ordered in, within ourselves is something that is impossible to explain. It's something that we don't have the physics to understand how this works. So this uh, information is storage, is uh, compressed in, within ourselves. And after that, what happened is that the brain is using data, that's it, that information, in order to perceive the world outside. So the information is not processed by the brain specifically, it's storage and created by the feelings, and the feelings give the information to the brain so it could act towards the outside. This is why we call the process of acknowledging, the process of knowing, of co the, the cognitive process, as something that is metaphysical. Because something physical would be to say that our body is made up with atoms. So we are all atoms, very well organized. There's no physical explanation for poetry, for example. So poetry, uh, making something artistic, is something that there is no explanation in the conjunction of atoms, okay? So that's what we call metaphysics, because we cannot explain it by the laws of physics. Okay, so that's what the Gnostic people would attach to the concept of soul. Okay, so basically I was trying to explain this because everything that we have lived in our world, everything that we have understood, that we have um, acknowledged, um, assimilated in our life as, as uh, something learned in our life, it was just because we have been because we felt it emotionally and with feelings in the moment we were living that. Like, for example, as we have said once before, riding the bicycle, it was something emotional. So you learned that because it was emotional to play an instrument, to learn something in the school, for sure. If there is something that you hold, uh, like this is really... Um, this is really important for you and you got it at the first time is because maybe the teacher that had was really good or because it it created an emotion on the on the teacher so uh usually happens that that the first information that we are able to integrate in ourselves is because of emotion this is why also we have to understand that uh emotion that the way we we got the information in is by the emotion. Emotion is like like this Morse code, like doing ta -ta 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 -ta, like this, like pulses, electrical pulses that creates a pattern that storage information, and then the mind reads that information. So what we usually do in school is um, is to learn. We, we, we don't learn when we memorize things. Like, for example, when we say the French Revolution was in uh, 1780, um, uh, 89 um yes so when we say those those data is it's like we have it storage because it's memorized when you repeat it so many times that's from the mind but it's not from the soul so when when you acknowledge the information and share the information and you are willing to to show what you know to share the information with others there is the moment when you are really activating uh, when you are really activating um, the the learning process okay so it's because you feel emotion when you say it you feel emotion when you express it and it can be a negative energy or positive emotion positive or negative emotion that storage information okay so this is why the I am was trying to explain today that the process of cognition and ignorance uh, goes through the emotional process. The process of cognition is something that works basically like this. Around you have a lot of information, data, knowledge, that is all separated. And so I bring all this information within and I put them all together within myself. 
So all this knowledge now by the feeling is connected. So they start to be understood by the links between of them. So when you connect them all, you call this knowledge as wisdom. Okay, so this is how you create wisdom inside. So when I see the different things in front of me, I can see them that they are there. And then I absorb them and make just one thing out of all of them. That's the cognitive process. So in the other hand, when I see all the things in front of me and I just pick one and keep just only one for me and that I don't care about the rest, that's what we call the process of ignorance. So the reason why we call ignorance to that is because precisely is to take only one and stay out in ignorance, stay out of the other uh, knowledge, okay? So ignorance basically means to ignore something that I know is there, but I don't see it. I don't want to see it. So for example, global warming. The, there is a lot of information that can show you that there is global warming. You can feel it. You can see the weather changing, of course. So whoever is denying the global warming basically is in the process of ignorance of a lot of data and information that is there. There is two different ways of being ignorant. Um, one of them is to, how do you say it in English? To unknow, <laughs> unknow would be, yes. Um, one is to be ignorant and the other one would be to um, not know, basically. The opposite to know, okay? Those, so the, the person that doesn't know, okay, is not ignorant. The person that doesn't know, doesn't know. It doesn't have the, um, doesn't have the data in front. It just doesn't know anything about the issue. So an ignorant is the person that has the possibility to have the information, but denies the information. That's the ignorant. The other person is someone that is trying to learn and doesn't have the information. Okay, we cannot say that that a person that doesn't know all the information is an ignorant. An ignorant is someone that even if he or she has the possibility of know, of have the information, decides to deny it. Okay, that's an ignorant. So to explain about our current situation, 300 years ago, civilization, humans, all humanity was people unaware. They had no option to know. They had no idea how to know things because there was no possibility to acknowledge things. But now we are a civilization connected with thousands and billions of possibilities to know information. So this is why we, this society, is the most ignorant society that has ever been in the human history. We are the civilization of ignorance. We are a civilization of ignorance because even if we have the information out there, we decide to deny it. Why this problem has started? <clears throat> because 300 years ago, school was created. So school was designed to give information, but the information that this gives is in a book and they say, here are all the answers. You have to swallow them. All the information that was in the world was chew before, so you can have it here, so swallow it. So what happened? It has been 300 years at a civilization that hasn't been prepared for the cognitive process. Because cognition means to grab the information from the outside and create your own wisdom within. That's cognition. But without the process of looking for the information to create the answer and having just the answer, you lost the whole process of a civilization of 300 years without the possibility to make the cognition process.
So now what we have is a, is a civilization with internet. We have so much information, so much information that we can learn about anything, but suddenly we have to learn. So suddenly we have to discern the information that we are reading. So suddenly we don't know what is the truth because 300 years have been taught that information is in this book. We haven't been working in trying to make the process by ourselves. So suddenly we have so much information that we have to discern which is the truth. So our net nature would say, I don't know. So anything is the truth. I don't know. I don't care. And that's it. So let's, so let's think about this. Don't blame the system because we would say uh, the school did it wrong. The school made, made it wrong. So the whole system is screwed up because of education. But hold on, because we usually try to blame education as if it is the tool for the governments to call population and so on. No, don't blame anyone. Listen to this. What happened is that education wanted to give the civilization a tool to know everything, but, but it went wrong because they were trying to do something as they thought it was the best. But now think in, the, in a different way. If your parents or you have had parents, for sure someone in your life, in your childhood or yourself have said to other ones, they would say to other ones, be careful. Don't uh, touch this or you're going to burn. Don't, don't go over the table because you're going to fall. Have you heard these sentences? You for sure have heard those sentences constantly. And usually comes from mom and dad, from those persons that tells constantly, be careful. You fall down, you can hurt, etc., etc. Basically, I want just to say that I've been reading people saying, no, it's, it's uh, the Illuminati are the guilty one. No, they blame on, on the church or whatever, religion, whatever. No, just stop there. And think about this. There is no system that is willing to control us. The system is made up with people. The people create the system. The people is individuals. The individuals born in a family really is the one that created the individuals. So all the systems, religion, capitalism, whatever you want to call it, all those systems has been born from the mind of an individual. And that mind of individual was created through the family. So this is why we have to acknowledge that the main problem we have are from the way in which we learn since we are kids, the information from the outside, how we know, how we achieve the information from our family. So basically what the education was trying to do was to give all the information that we hadn't been able to receive in thousands of years and give all of that to us in just five years. So uh, all that information was received by, by us and this created the opposite reaction of the expected. The opposite reaction would be to deny information, to deny everything. We become ignorant. Uh, we have a lot of things to talk about this, but the time is running to wrap the idea. As a summary, to, um, to remember that, that in order to, uh, to, to activate the process of cognition, we have to allow ourselves to feel more, to feel, to be more sensitive to the information that we receive, to perceive ourselves to, to feel, okay? So remember that ignorance is to deny things that you know you have in front of you. So the question would be, how many things have you denied and ignored throughout your life? We all are ignorant. I have too many ideas to say in my head, but I want to shut up. So yes, we have 270 days more. So we, we are going to talk about this more, for sure. It's 
9.30 already. So um, the vibration of the day, fe, 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 fe. The statement is, I am the flux of truth. The code for today is unity, it says. Everything that was apart now is now it now is as a unity. All the degrees of the sphere, everything lived in each time and space is now as one. In the center, in the center. Unity is the universal concept that everything that exists is not really a part, but everything that exists is simply an hologram of a unique particle in intense vibration. For that, no matter where you are, you will always be in the center. So uh, we begin stretching the body, massaging the body, and yawn, y bostezando. Nos sentamos cómodos, we sit comfortable. Focus in my breathing. As you take a deep breath, feel the air coming inside, spinning around like a twister, feeling the void inside the air, with your body light as a feather. I feel the air outside connecting with the air within me. start to speed the air going out through the skin and spinning around my body as a colorful twister I put my hands facing the sky at the height of my heart I allow myself to perceive the light of the sun coming through my head. Take a deep breath and feel the light of the I am coming through the crown, crossing through the third eye and anchor throat chakra. Mm. 
within my throat, a beautiful blue light that irradiates into two rays that goes to the palms of my hands, filling up them, filling them up with blue. In one of my hands, I find all my deep breath process. And in the other one, I find all the things that I ignore. I become aware that the concepts of cognition and ignorance coexist within me. And both of them creates the idea of how my soul interpretates the world. I become aware that ignorance was trying to protect myself from all those things that scares me. So I acknowledge its purpose in life. And the cognitive process is the one that helps me to be more wise, to understand the idea of the world. I take my hands to my heart and unify these two concepts, acknowledging that both of them are born from wisdom, from the Gnosis. And I unify them with my sound, remembering that I am the flux of all truth. Estirando el cuerpo. Take a deep breath and start to caress, bringing this consciousness by stretching, massaging, and yawning. back and now slowly opening my eyes. <sighs> so like this we have integrated in ourselves this aspect of the I am. So you, as always, for being there, for putting 
like these videos so much more people can find them and uh, and um, for being there being supporting so see you tomorrow as always at the same time <laughs> I said maybe tomorrow with curly hair I don't know today I woke up like this with the hair like that so I don't know Libra takes me really crazy and I don't understand anything <laughs> everything is doubts this month bueno see you tomorrow for the heart <laughs>